we got Chaos versus Decroft here on the stream. Uh, and uh, boy, Chaos, what a way to uh, to get to the second round with a field goal off the crossbar that actually goes in. Yeah, and the play before that 56-yard kick just scraped barely over the crossbar, Chaos was able to get a catch in traffic, a clutch catch in traffic. Uh, a lot of reports saying that PCAM probably deserved to win that game, but hey, you know that's what Madden's about. Sometimes the, it treats you well, sometimes it doesn't, and we're going to see Chaos moving on the second round. This is going to be a great matchup with these two players, and uh, Decroft, there's one thing the community talks about with him. It's his open field stick work. Unbelievable. And Decroft with the ball looking right side as Moss standing over there and I don't know what happened there. I, it looked like it might have been a catch, then it wasn't a catch, and all in all, we just get to a second and ten. Those sideline catches are very tough in this game. Sometimes they will just deflect off that receiver. It looked like a pretty good read there by Croft. He had that corner out sitting on the sideline. Tough break, but he's going to have to come back right here on second down to ten. Shout out to Big Perm 99, the winner of, uh, of our first giveaway tonight. We'll be having one of our mods reach out to you guys in the chat. Check your whispers. They'll be trying to get your giveaway, and they'll get that forward over to EA. Shout out to the, the guys over at EA. Kralo, Gibbs, Farls, all the guys over there on that content team. Guru, uh, appreciate you guys working with us to do these grants and giveaways here tonight. Third down and 10 for D. Croft. Trips tied into the right. Don't go away because we got more giveaways coming up. Play action pass. Vic dropping back on third and 10. Looking for the conversion. Tight coverage left side. And how about a pick? What a play defensively. A great switch to Nickerson. The user makes a big play. And how about that? No points on this drive. Big interception right there by Chaos. Now he's going to take over on offense, and we're going to see his trips tight and go to work. I think in this matchup, the thing that you have to pay attention to is that Chaos is one of the, uh, I would say, foremost minds when you talk about the trips tight end, some of the best route combinations. It kind of set the meta. You see a lot of guys kind of following his lead this year. Decroft more about that open field stick work. He likes to get the ball to his receivers in the open field and just make guys miss, make them look silly. But I, th I think, think Chaos is going to be a little bit more calculated and uh, surgical with his passing attack, a little bit less after the catch. And dropping back to pass on first and 10. Rolling out left side. He'll chuck this out of bounds. Just get rid of the ball. Make sure you don't take a sack. So back-to-back -back games, Zan, where we have seen the first drive, uh, uh, an interception. This one doesn't get taken back, but it's still a big momentum change. Yeah, I mean, you always want to get that stop on your opening drive. I think a lot of players, the rule of thumb is if you can allow three or less, that is a huge win on defense. You're not really that upset if you give up a touchdown on your opening drive because you're trying to get a feel for what the offense is trying to establish. But anytime you get a stop, that's massive. And already 0 for 2 to start this game, trying to get the uh, passing attack going. As John's looking good. He's looking real good out there on the sidelines. <laughs> We're seeing this defense here from D. Croft, this 3-3-5. You see him, he likes to bluff blitz that slot corner. It puts him in a three-rec hook, and you'll see that three-rec hook do some pretty wild things. He's looking for a crossing route to match. He'll play some man-to-man. -man. So right here, you see the three-receiver side is the side with the running back. So watch how that three-rec hook plays after the bluff blitz. Play action pass. Vic dropping back on third and ten. Looks to the flat. Trying to make a play, but a good tackle by Lane. It's going to set up a fourth and five, and you got to think it's close enough that they're going to be looking, uh, Chaos going to be looking to pick up this fourth down and keep the momentum rolling. A lot of players are going to the hitters out there in the flat with all the falling forward right now in the game. You see Night Train Lane. You're seeing some of the bigger hitting safeties playing that outside corner. In the cover, too, you're playing the cloud flat. You're in the force defender and the run fit. It's kind of a natural fit for a hitter to play the cover two style defense, but it looks like a zero blitz. Up. You don't see too many cover zero blitzes, but Decroft going all in. Nice hybrid coverage running the outside quarter. Play action pass blitz picked up nicely. Easy pitch and catch underneath. And they're going to give him the spot. It's going to be a first down for Chaos. Nice check down underneath. You like the call going with the cover zero on fourth down? I do. I, I think on fourth down, it's a great opportunity to do some things, maybe leave some holes in the defense, especially fourth and short where players are not looking for the big play over the top. After that big conversion on first down. It looks like, a, once again, two wide receivers over to the left side. is going to motion one out to the right side. Vic dropping back. Blitz coming around the right side. Picked up momentarily. Gets out of the pocket. Looking deep down the field. Has a man. It's caught inbounds at the 44-yard line. What a dot from Michael Vick and a great play down the field. Making sure that Randy Moss gets those two feet inbounds. Chaos is in business. Cat blitz off that right side from the outside corner. Flushes Vic out to his arm side. You see he's able to make that throw in stride to Moss. Big gain across midfield down to the 44-yard line. Now first and 10. 
Three wide over to the right side. Look at Jones in the slot there. He's going to come in motion from right to left. Dalvin Cook in the backfield. They're going to hand it to Dalvin Cook. And good time to dial up the cover is zero. That little hybrid look you're seeing. This is a unique defensive look we're seeing from Decroft. Yeah, he's not really sticking with the same Tampa 2 every down. He'll be running some uh, cross man with the safeties. All three linebackers in the 3-3-5 can man up across the field. As you guys know, a couple years ago, they made that decision to make it so you could only man up players on the same side. However, in the 3-3-5, those sub linebackers can man up any player on the field. And players will do that frequently in this defense. Oh, look at that user down the field taking away the deep crosser. Look at over the middle. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know if that was going to be a catch or a pick. I think both players are happy just to have that fall to the ground. I think that's a break for D. Croft. You saw right there he made a, or I'm sorry, a break for Chaos. D. Croft's safety broke inside on that post route, made a nice play from the deep half on the left side. Did not animate, so you're going to see Chaos with another opportunity here on third down and eight. I mean, no chaos, even if he doesn't get it here, probably looking to go for it on fourth down, but he just wants to pick it up here, make it easy. Cross man from the strong safety. You see he's going to take that crosser all by himself to the right side. Looking to the flat. Uh, it looked like Vernon Davis coming back to the quarterback right as made the decision to throw it to the flat. Fourth and eight. And right now, Chaos, he's looking to that crossing route almost exclusively, and that may be hurting him a little bit. Two throws of football you can't make. Late to the flat and high over the middle. The last two downs for Chaos, he's done both. So we're going to see right here if he can maybe shore this up on fourth down and eight. He needs a dot. Let's see what uh, D. Croft Looks like you bring a little zone blitz. Well, that, that hybrid. Loves running this hybrid where you have a couple zone Couple blitzers, that's 3-3-5. Three, three, Look, fourth and eight. Dropping back to pass. Looking deep down the middle of the field. Good coverage, but a better throw to the 21-yard line. What a catch in tight coverage over the middle. And Chaos converts his second fourth down of the drive. If you're D. Croft, you've got to be frustrated. You had what should have been a pick a couple plays ago, and then you had smothering coverage by Kyle Fuller right there. Odell Beckham just makes a catch in traffic. That's going to happen from time to time. But right now, if you're D. Croft, you're feeling pretty good with what your defense is doing, especially on Chaos's first offensive drive. Nearing the end of the first quarter here. Uh, a little bit of a uh, an inaccurate snap there. Rolling out. He's going to take off with Vic. Slide down at the 18-yard line. Easy four-yard pickup for the mobile quarterback. That's a reason I'm a, a big-time under center player. You don't get those side snaps, those high snaps that give you different quarterback animations. What Are you Are you a big under center player or are you yeah. more of a shotgun guy? Yeah, I used to be a big shotgun guy, but... Uh, you know, sort of labbing and figuring out what I liked. Uh, I like running out of that single back. And uh, we saw it a lot from Nini in that first round game. Uh, hopefully it goes a little better for me than uh, it did for Nini as he looks deep down the middle. High pass. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy into the end zone. Touchdown for Chaos off the interception. And who else but Julio Jones coming down with a huge touchdown. How about the skill position players for Chaos in this one? He's paying the big premium bucks to those wide receivers. And Julio Jones better be making those catches because he had a wide open touchdown in the flat on that play as well. But hey, all's well that ends well. Julio Jones finds the end zone. 7 nothing Chaos. Doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you get the points. Chaos coming off the interception a great user play down the field to pick off d croft and I, you look back at that drive that was a nice play but it all came down to two for two on fourth down and i said right there on that drive chaos is going to be making some solid reads he did throw up a couple cookies on that last drive but overall his route combinations have been very sound we're gonna see if d croft has an answer after the turnover on his first drive of the ball game we also saw Boogs in our first round matchup turn the ball over on his first drive. That one for a pick six ended up winning that game. So it ain't over until the fat lady sings the pass over the middle to Randy Moss picking up a first down. Nice little pitch and catch over the middle. You see that he didn't really have any hook zones in the middle of the field. That's, I would say, a little bit too easy. You got to have to use it in the middle of the field there. Maybe a little bit too aggressive underneath. First down and 10 for Decroft looking to answer the chaos touchdown. If you missed it, Talked about in the first round, Chaos winning his first round matchup. Field goal off the crossbar goes through. Got a little bit of that Madden luck to go his way. And he's here in the second round looking for that $1,000. First and 10. Plenty of time. Great blocking, but nobody open. Even better coverage down the field for Chaos. I actually really like that route combination there from Decroft, but just better coverage by Chaos. What he was looking for was that motion of the slot receiver across on that drag back to the original side, and then he was using the comeback route to the wide sideline, and that little high-low was actually covered very well by Chaos. Great defense. Second down and 10. Looks over right side, and Decroft right now utilizing these intermediate short routes to get down the field. Very low YPA right now. He's got 10 attempts, only 44 yards to show for it, but he's taking what's being given. Chaos is bringing those linebackers every now and then. He has to make those quick reads. I like that out route right there when there's no hook zone in the area. Third and three for Decroft. 
Looks to that wheel route. This time goes to the running back. That's Leonard Fournette with the catch. And that's an easy four yards. And really nothing too special here. Making quick reads, getting the ball out of Vic's hands quickly. That's a very popular route combination. You run that trips tight end. Your trips to the wide side of the field. Tight end in the back set to the short side. Running a wheel route and a corner route for a nice little high-low. It looks like we got, uh, this is Joe Rice. Uh, he is, uh, it's a 52-49 ball game right now. This is something we see all the time in games involving Joe Rice. We saw him in the Friday Night Football number two final in which he was in a barn burner. I believe this is going to be an all-time record for points scored in a game in Mutthead competition. You got a 52-49 oh, ball game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, D-Croft up the middle, Leonard Fournette making a man miss, shaking off a tackler and finding the end zone, the ground and pound, working for D-Croft, getting him on the board. Leonard Fournette, I uh, see he's big time utilization on that drive. The wheel route moved the first down, and then again right back to the uh, the back and the LSU, LSU Tiger right up the middle touchdown. This is a crazy ball game. It looks like we're actually in the victory formation, so this is over. We've got a victory for Joe That's Rice. Joe Rice, fifty two forty nine over Canes here in the second round and. Yeah, I, I mean, again, it's my first time here, but you got to think 52 4 9. That's quite a high scoring matchup. Yeah, these two players know each other well, obviously. And the more you play against each other, the easier it is to score. You figure out what each other likes to do on defense, what nuances, what type of wrinkles they like to add. Uh, and then you get to a point where you're like, okay, if that safety's in this exact spot, this is exactly what he's doing. And I think it shows right here a big time score. I think, I hope you took the over in this matchup. Yeah, if you took the under, I have news for you. You lost that very badly. So, Joe Rice. Wins his second round matchup. Moving on. Still alive for that $1,000 prize here on Friday Night Football. Number seven. Appreciate all you hanging out with us. I'm Nick Mazesco hanging out with Zan here. And what a, what a night. Having so much fun out here. Calling some Madden and seeing some great action. We've been blessed with these early games. A lot of close battles. A lot of back and forth action. And that's, there's nothing better here in Madden. This has been a great week of competitive Madden. Uh, you see that these players are really gearing up for that last chance qualifier next week. Some of these guys, obviously like Boogs, going to that live event out there in Redwood next week. So all these guys are really gearing up for this stretch run, and you're sh seeing it show right here in this tournament. Third down and five for Chaos. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Rolling out right side. Looking to the corner of that. That's picked off the entire way. Blunt with the pick. Got some room up the left side. 25-20 and a big tackle at the 19-yard line. But... Zaddy, it's, it's a lot easier being here calling the game, but what was Chaos looking at on that throw? I think he was looking for one of his underneath routes to pull down the zone out there on that sideline, and it just didn't happen. You saw Mel Blunt was able to flash in front of that crossing route. That was an easy interception. I, I'm not sure if uh, Chaos saw him at all. Now we're going to see Leonard Fournette. Uh, spin move back inside, first down and more. Tyke Money in the chat asking, is this salary cap? And if salary, what is the cap? This is salary cap. Xbox One, 1175. It has not changed. We'll see if it changes next week once the qualifiers start. But right now, they're running with the same cap that they ran with in the club series. And we got J Wall and Fitz Magic on the right side of your screen. Keep tabs on that one. 10 10 ball game as they're nearing halftime. 7 7 in our feature game here. Chaos and D Croft. As it looks like Chaos, or excuse me, Decroft just going to take this down to the two-minute warning. This one's been back and forth. We've seen an interception go both ways. Nobody really uh, putting themselves in that position as the favorite in this ballgame. I think I would have definitely gone with the under in this matchup just because both players know this offense so well. Um, and you're seeing right now that Leonard Fournette is kind of the the person that is moving the chains for Decroft. So it's a very conservative approach from him. Chaos is a little bit more downfield oriented. You saw right there, tried to really go big with that crossing route got intercepted i think the players will start to settle in um but i think right now if you're if you're decroft you're really in a good spot right now you get a fall forward a couple times here's the fullback dive that's leonard fournette that's too easy right up the middle didn't even care that much about falling forward with this patch when you got to hold that big right up the gut yeah and obviously with falling forward you know some of the lighter players in the league are falling forward imagine what you're going to get out of leonard fournette i mean very consistently going to be running over these defenders and again it's not much unlimited you're not running you know 99 ray lewis 99 brian urlacher you know all the hall of fame legends everywhere a lot of players like to run the big dollar players on offense and then they try to find budget production on defense and it's really tough when it comes to stopping the run 
T. Porter in the chat saying, easy peasy. Duckstar saying, I'd look foolish against D. Croft. There's no shame in that. I would as well. He's one of the best here, and he's got a good chance to go all the way. Oh, you look at the D. Croft highlight tape that's been flowing around Twitter. I mean, got hundreds. I think I, I think I saw it over 300 likes uh, within a couple hours of being posted. I mean, he makes some really good players look silly in that highlight tape. Jacoby, Clef, there's a number of players that he really puts in a spin cycle. Uh, that open field stick with D. Croft is hands down the best in this field. Decroft with the lead 14-7 over Chaos. How about a fumble in our other game you're seeing on the right side? I think it's going to be it retained by the Jets. Yeah. yeah, kicked out of bounds. So uh, fortunate break there for Fitzmagic keeping the ball. 17-10 in that ball game. 14-7 in our feature. Chaos stepping up with Vic, looking down the field, has a man, one-handed catch, and how about a first down, and nice job by Chaos. Sometimes it's really easy just to run with that ball, pick up the yards, but he kept his eyes downfield and saw the open receiver on the corner route. A lot of times when you roll out, it changes the angle of the throw. A lot of times those cloud flats will start to hedge their bet. Do I drift down the sideline? Do I step up to defend the scramble? You saw right there, he steps up. He's able to find that window over the top of that corner in front of the safety. Oh, nice spin move back inside. Oh, Randy Moss out of bounds. 26 yards. And surprise, he went out of bounds there. No trying to conserve clock, but looked like he could have picked up a couple more down the sidelines. Well, in salary cap, you typically don't have the after the catch ability with Randy Moss. So I think right there, he's just kind of preserving chance. He doesn't want to fumble trying to make a spin move with a player that maybe doesn't meet the threshold. It's pretty tough to get him up to that spin move threshold. So I like the decision right there, especially now a minute to go, two timeouts. Uh, you can kind of just settle in and, and, and try to get yourself on the board here to end the first half. How about get the Dalvin Cook train rolling right up the middle, picking up seven. Second down and three. How about a touchdown in our other game? It's Randy Moss, and that's going to extend the lead. Uh, what a play there to get it to 23-10. to 10. This ball game. Uh, far from over, but an, uh, getting that two-touchdown lead before the half is huge. Jay Wall with a big first-round victory over Strafen, showing that momentum here in the second round against Fitzmagic. Fitzmagic with the close one-point victory over Jay himself in that first round maybe didn't get into a, a rhythm because I know Jay himself likes to run a very different offense. He's a jumbo guy, so not really getting his adjustments in against some of these meta sets like the trips tight end you're seeing from Jay Wall. But still plenty of time left in that game. They got a minute five before the uh, halftime Whistle, so a huge opportunity to cut into that lead. Look at the left side, diving catch. How about a touchdown for Chaos? And right when it looks like a knockout punch is coming from one side, the other side coming up with a big play. This kick to tie the ball game up. Julio Jones, second touchdown of the first half, crossing route. There was no safety in the area. Great route combination by Chaos. Gets him on the board. And the extra point ties it to 14. 32 seconds remaining. Plenty of time, though, for Decroft. Two timeouts remaining. With that 32 seconds on the clock, Friday Night Football number seven presented by Mudhead, sponsored by Grubhub. We are so happy you guys are joining us. Excited for the weekend. What a way to kick off the weekend by giving out $1,000. Yeah, these players are all grinding. They've been grinding all year long for this moment. They are working towards this last chance qualifier. What better way to prep yourself than in Friday Night Football? $1,000 going to our winner tonight. Our final eight competitors will return for the next event. And uh, these are just going to keep growing and getting better. So, again, guys, if you in the chat want to try to compete in these events, go to mutthead.com. You can find the exact link by hitting exclamation point compete, and that night bot will post the link for you. Rolling out left side, Decroft. He'll take what he can underneath. That's uh, Jones stepping out of bounds to the 35. Mud Club saying, can I put my hands down yet? I still have about my fours in the air. Yeah, you can put it down, rest that shoulder. When we get to the fourth quarter, you can put it back up. Love you guys out in the chat. Appreciate everybody uh, hanging out with us, keeping that chat rolling. Yeah, you guys have been awesome tonight. We appreciate you. More giveaways on the way tonight. Drops are active in the chat, according to a few viewers. I said you guys were getting your uh, your cards from the Twitch drop. So uh, those are active tonight, and we'll be giving away more team MVPs. Big hit right here from Chaos. And I'll tell you right now, if you are Decroft, I was a little bit nervous going into this drive. We talked about up until this point, he had like 10 attempts for 44 passing yards. The YPA is very, very low, very conservative. The last thing I want to see him do is really get aggressive here and force an interception and give Chaos another field goal before half. Only 15 seconds remaining. One timeout for Decroft. He's going to motion Roberts from right to left, leaving Moss and Jones on the right side of that formation. Leonard Fournette. In the backfield, play action pass. Looking deep down the right side, has a man. Jones breaks a tackle. 10, 5. How about you just stand there, post for the crowd, and get 
get in the end zone. You said, nervous about Decroft getting aggressive, and Decroft looked at you and said, hold on. I got this big fella into the end zone before the half. Great play action call right there by Decroft. Flat defender bites up. Safety in the deep half. Huge sideline window. Fits it in there. And then Julio Jones says, all right, Julio on the other side making plays for chaos. My turn. 21-14 Decroft. Seven seconds to go in the first half. Sweet Julio on Julio action here on Friday Night Football number seven. Three seconds remaining, and, you know, Zan, you played this the, with these competitive guys. Do you take a shot here, or is this just take a knee, get to the halftime? Take your knee, go to halftime. The odds of a Hail Mary are slim and none. Uh, if they intercept it, you never know what can happen. It, you just don't take a risk right here. But we're going to see chaos uh, coming out of that trip. Started. I would be very surprised if he chucks a Hail Mary right here. First down and 10. How about just run the ball, keep it safe, gets to the outside. That's going to take us to halftime. 21-14, Decroft on top, but Chaos getting the ball, so it is anyone's ball game here in the second half. Yeah, especially with you having ball at half, you can't afford to, to do anything stupid right there if you're Chaos. His offense hasn't been bad. I mean, Julio Jones really carrying the load right now after that interception to start the game, but I think that Chaos right now kind of has a read for what D. Croft has been doing defensively his last couple drives. So we'll see if he can continue that success. See right there, he's got uh, 183 yards, most of it on his last two drives. So really starting to pick up the tempo. Update on one of our other second round matchups. Boogs after a tight ball game in the first round, tied 10-10 in the third with something serious. That game's going to come down to the wire. This one looking good as well as Chaos with the ball down seven. Very back and forth first half. If you're just joining us, we saw an interception go each, each way, and we've seen Julio Jones be the man for both teams. Three total touchdowns for Julio. As on second and ten, Chaos looking to the flat. And I really respect what these two guys are doing today, Zan. You're seeing them work the underneath, soften up that defense, and taking the shots, not just going deep the entire time. So something that I've noticed here from D. Croft is he's been – cross manning the safety away from the trip side and taking the crossers on his own you see right here there's no deep sideline zone and he goes ahead and hot routes one right there great on the fly adjustment by d croft castle's gonna have to keep using this motion to stress these defense uh because he's being very aggressive he's leaving some holes deep pass left side corner route easy pitch and catch to randy moss and just like that Crossing midfield to the 45-yard line. Chaos looking to tie this ball game up. It's the theme of Madden 19. You run the vertical route down the sideline, pull that deep zone, and then the crossing route comes underneath it from the opposite side of the field. Kind of finds a void in the zone over the top of the hook zone tier, but in front of those safeties. Jazz in the chat saying, how late are they streaming until we're with you until the uh, the entire tournament is done. So stick with us. we got a ton of great action coming up. We're going to give out $1,000 and... Top eight from this Friday Night Football, they get invited back next time. So it's a nice consolation prize. Even if you don't get that cool $1,000 in your pocket, get to come back next time. As uh, you see right side of your screen, this is Boogs and something serious. 10-10 in the third. Oh, and an unfortunate oh, break right fumbled. there. Oh, what a what a turn. We we have done such a great job of switching over these games right as big plays happen. Yeah, it's been we've been very fortunate. A lot of heavy action in these matchups right as we get into them. Right there you see he goes for a strip attempt. Unfortunate break because he breaks the tackle, but then he eats a hit stick for the fumble, and that's a huge turnover right now. We're going to see some serious going to work on offense, I believe. I'm trying to get a look here. Yes, he's wearing those Titans uniforms. Big Titans Actually, fan. the old, old school Houston Oilers uniforms yeah. here for some serious. Second down and 10 for Chaos. And finally, Decroft gets a little pressure on Chaos. We haven't seen too many sacks because both these guys utilizing the underneath routes. Yeah, and especially with Decroft, it seems like he's been pretty content to just run some hybrid coverage, try to confuse Chaos. Now he's starting to go with a little bit more of a pressure look, try to bring those linebackers, that slot corner. You see right now he's got two underneath routes, double whip routes, one to the tight end, one to the slot receiver. It's going to be very tough to use her underneath if you're sending those outside linebackers. And now picking up, cutting into that third and 15 to a fourth and seven. It looks like we're going to have, uh, it looks like Chaos is going for it. It's too close, 42-yard line, not going to be able to kick that field goal. Don't want to punt it away. It's only a one-touchdown ball game. Let's see what Chaos can dial up on fourth and seven. 
slot corner blitz off of that left side. You notice the motion. Now he's actually bluff blitzing him. Three rec hook over the middle. Watch him on this fourth down. That's a big zone to be paying attention to. Drop, drop, look into the corner out left side. The user gets there a little late and drop it in the bucket. What a throw from Michael Vick and a big conversion on fourth down. That three receiver hook that I just talked about flashed in front of the shallow cross. Chaos only had one read to make and he did right there. Great conversion setting up first down and goal from the eight. Now these fourth down conversions coming up huge. Chaos down 21 14 to 28 and counting in the third quarter. Motioning a wide receiver from right to left. Dropping back, looking to the corner route. That's tight coverage, looking for the high pass. It's batted away. That might have worked three months ago, but they, these patches, they've really taken that high pass efficiency down. Not only that, but right now the meta is get yourself to second down and goal from the six or closer. It's QB sneak territory. I don't like the decision to throw the ball in the red zone the way this game is playing right now. You have to pick up that falling forward animation consistently down here in the red zone. Putting the ball in the air is a huge risk. T-Money Metcalf, 2K, saying, this better than championship. Y'all are great commentators. Appreciate the love. Second down and goal. Vic, nowhere to go, but he Huge breaks a tackle. tackle. He makes the man miss. What a run. Oh, chaos showing off the stick skills. Breaks a tackle. Looks like he's going to throw and says, I'll just take it myself. Into the end zone. One point away from tying it up. That's what you pay the big cap to Mike Vic for. He'll miss a throw every now and then, but the things that he does with his legs far outweighs the negatives he has when he throws and misses the occasional throw. You see right there, that should have been a sack. Ends up being a touchdown. Big drive right there to get on the board. And it will flip over as this game into the fourth quarter. You can put your fours in the chat. It's a 10-10 ball game. Bugs in another dogfight. This time with the Titans Club Champion this year. Came out of nowhere and put on a great show at the Club Championship. Something serious. A huge Tennessee Titans fan with the ball. Looking over the middle and Boogs says, how about give me that back? And he's got a lot of room. Taylor, I don't know if anyone's going to catch him. Can he get to him? He's to the 40. 30. 20. He's running 15, out of gas. 10. Breaks a tackle. Stumbling. Bumbling. Get in the end zone, Boogs. 100 yards to the house. Uh, dance on a big fella. And Boogs swears by this Sean Taylor item, the 36 Sean Taylor item. He is a 95 speed player, one of the best users in the game. And talk about Mike Vick in this game. They call him the anti-pick six. Unable to get into the picture right there. Not even Tyreek Hill is able to hawk him down from behind. Huge, huge play. I say when Boogs gets scores defensively, that is bad news for the opponent because he is an offense first player and his defense is playing championship level football and he's going to Redwood next week. It's going to be an exciting next two weeks for Boogs. And on the right side, you see Decroft is in business. Let's go back to that game. It's tied up at 21. We got two dogfights here on Friday Night Football. Second round action. And Decroft already down the field at the 12-yard line. Man, two very tight ball games. Winners of these secure a spot in our next tournament. So they're competing for the $1,000 tonight. And right now, this matchup is a chance at another $1,000 in the next event. Leonard Fournette. Whoa, lower the shoulder. Get away. Eight carries, 80 yards, two touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguar. And we're going to see more falling forward. I do not think we're going to see D. Croft go to the air like we saw Chaos. Exactly. Goal line, that is the move. You have to do this until this is fixed in the game. And that's coming next week. So these players are going to definitely milk this for all it's worth in this tournament tonight. Moss at the top of the eye. Fournette at the fullback. Using some of that clock. Tie ball game in the third quarter. I like this. I like this because this is great utilization of your salary cap roster. You don't usually pay for two backs, so to be able to get a high 90 speed player like Moss at the tailback for that threat of the outside run, and then that big bruiser up the middle and Fournette falling forward. That's very tough to deal with in salary cap. We already talked about players not spending their cap on the defensive side of the ball, and th again, this feels automatic right here. Third down and one with the QB sneak in your arsenal. Just like that. Right. right. Easy. That's just easy pickup of a yard. And now the one-yard line. We're in the fourth quarter. The fours can go back up. Tie ball game. But D. Croft knocking on the door. Not just knocking. He's looking to kick in the door. Hand off to Fournette. And Fournette says, I'm the battering ram that's going to put you in the lead. D. Croft reclaims it. Again, Leonard Fournette has been the bell cow for D. Croft. He's been throwing the ball out there in the flat to him any chance he can. He's been running the ball on rundowns. I really like the way he's managing this ball game. He needs one stop here to get this ball back, but it's going to be a tall order against Chaos, who has one of the better trips tight ends in our community. How about uh, on the right side? We just saw something serious. Run a little hitch route on the left side. Nobody over there picks up the first down. That came under the 330 mark left. 
Some series looking to tie that ball game up after Boogs got that 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. What a change in events as let's go to that ball game. Screaming off the edge. I'll tell you what, Boogs has been in the lab. You can tell. His defense is looking better than I've seen it in the last two years. Screaming consistently. Two guys free off that right edge. And uh, some serious has got some work in front of him. No tight end to help pick up this pressure. Here it comes off that right side again. I'm trying to get to the edge. He's going to beat the end outside. And he's going to fumble the ball. Big hit, and Bugs forces another turnover. Miles Garrett picking up the fumble. Didn't slide with Vic. Tried to make the man miss, and he paid for it. Again, Sean Taylor around the football. You see him forcing the fumble right there, and then Garrett picks it up. Now Bugs in firm control with a chance to end this ball game right here. Seven turnovers in this ball game. Four for something serious, three for Bugs, and... That's your difference right now. 17-10 as we're under the three-minute mark. 5-2 defense here from some serious. No safety help over the top. These are islands across the board. Someone has to win for Bugs. Pressure. Looking to the left side. He's going to chuck it up. He has a man. It's Tyreek the Freak Hill trying to get around the outside. Out of bounds at the 11. And this is what we saw from some serious. He ran this 5-2 defense in the club championship. So whether it's the big stage of the MCS or the even bigger stage of Friday Night Football, some serious is sticking to what he knows. Again, you're running islands. Who can run on an island with the cheetah? You see right there, he's just saying, okay, I'm bringing pressure. 5-2 defense, I'm bringing everyone. Get the ball out quick. You saw right there, his blitzer that was free off that right edge tripped, allowing Vic to scroll out to that outside and find the crossing route to Tyreek. Big play. First and 10, Cook around the outside and... It's too easy when there's nobody over there. Dalvin Cook walks into the end zone. Books. Boy, he, he might never come back to the commentator chair the way he's playing right now. <laughs> yeah, he's saying right now, okay, I'm never returning to the booth. Let me go ahead and lock in every single week here on Friday Night Football. I need this $1,000 every week. And let's go back to Chaos and Decroft. Uh, one result in Jaywell 31-10 over Fitzmagic to move on to round three. Nice win for Jay Wall. Jay Wall, can, he's being considered one of the best up-and-coming players right now in our community. I mean, he's shown it. He won the Patriots Club Series, defeating the lights of Michael Skimbo. I mean, that's a name everyone knows. Uh, Jay Wall's a very promising player, and he's somebody that I expect to be around for a very long time. Yeah, that's the thing with a lot of these talented Madden players. It's a young group. It's a group that's only going to get better. 28-20, Decroft on top and with the ball. Chaos needing a stop bad, 347 and counting. And I think right here, if you're Decroft, three is the number right here. You're not playing really to score a touchdown. You're playing for that clock and three more points to make it a two-possession lead. That's exactly what he's going to do. But great aggressiveness on defense there from Chaos brings everyone third down and 10. It is a 51-yard kick from right here. And we saw earlier, 53 is a very long kick in salary cap. Uh, it's a very long kick if you're Cody Parkey as well, but we don't need to discuss that. Poor Cody. Um, <laughs> third down and 10 here for Leonard Fournette. Cody Parkey looks at those those uprights, and, and they look about two inches apart as another result in soccer ball defeating TNC Fancy 31-26. That's a little bit of an unexpected result. Fancy been playing some really great Madden over the last two weeks, and uh, soccer, another player that you cannot look past. He is a great player, maybe doesn't get the recognition in the community that he deserves, but tonight, not only has he secured himself a round three, but he's secured himself a spot in our next event. Here, D. Croft up by seven. Needs to put this one through the uprights to extend it to a two-score lead. And I believe lead. that's a perfect kick. My eyes aren't great, but looks, this should be 0% chance of block. And Chaos wasn't even going for it anyways. 31-21. This game, uh, it really has felt like a heavyweight prize fight because it seems like it's been back and forth. It's all come down to just a couple plays here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, right now you're seeing uh, D. Croft. He's just kind of trying to mix it up. His coverage is at 3-3-5. Hasn't really been super aggressive against Chaos. Uh, Chaos is really great with his reads. Finds those checkdowns underneath a lot. And uh, you've just seen that he's trying to force him into maybe one or two really crucial mistakes. And uh, right now, that, that turnover on that last drive to give him the 10-point lead is the difference in this ballgame. Swaggy so Steck in the chat saying, what should I get to eat? Whatever you get, Grub make sure Hub. you use Grubhub. Use that code, touchdown, $10 off your first order, $15 or more. First and 10 for Chaos. He's looking deep down the middle of the field, and this is what it's going to be. It's going to be very aggressive. When do you think Chaos has to score to really have a good chance in this game? Uh, I think I think right here you're okay. Uh, you 
very clearly cannot use your timeouts right here. You have to use those on the defensive side of the ball. Um, I think if he starts to feel his drive slow up a little bit, he might be okay taking three. Um, but I think right now you don't change up too much. I think you just got to keep attacking. I mean, he's very vertically oriented. He has been the entire ball game. You see he's keeping his eyes downfield and checking it down. Right Ooh. here, though, I think you got to get out. Well, it is two-minute warning, so great decision to cut it back over the middle. Uh, right here, this is where you have that decision with your if you're chaos. Do I save these timeouts and try to play defense for two minutes down by seven, or do we go ahead while we're down here and just kind of go for the touchdown? Another result in McKinley status over lights out 31-14. So McKinley's status for soccer ball in the third round. This game far from over. Wow, misfire on the underneath throw. We can still got plenty more giveaways here on uh, Friday Night Football number seven. Absolutely. We're going to be giving away team MVPs after each round. So make sure you guys are hanging around in the chat. Drops are active. And we just want to say thank you to you guys so much for supporting us on Friday Night Football over the last six weeks. Wanted to bring those drops here in week seven and into the future. And again, guys, shout outs to the guys at EA for making this possible. Big second down and 10 here for Chaos. He needs to get on the board. Looking to on the field. Looking at that corner route right in front. It's a fumble. Oh, boy. And that's pretty lucky there for Chaos that not only did he come down with the catch, he fumbled it. The ball got out of bounds and stopped the clock. Yeah, that's just a huge break for Chaos right there. Uh, you know, that's... That's saving him 20 seconds. Now we can sit there and go through his entire pre-snap setup. He doesn't have to rush it. You know, quick snap the ball here with the clock running. Uh, he's going to get, you know, four attempts right here, and the clock's not going to be running on him. And that is final. Boogs moving on to the third round. He gets invited back. Did he already get an invite because he calls the games? Like, I feel like... Uh, we're going to have to have a discussion with Boogs after this one, see what his, what his future holds. And that Whoa. is what you cannot afford right there. Melvin Ingram, huge sack right there for D. Croft. Now the clock's running. Clock running, minute 40, minute 39, and counting. Needing two scores. Saving those three timeouts. Looking at the stop. Flag down on the play, and it looks like it's going to be a neutral zone infraction. So that stops the clock. Allows Chaos to maybe catch his breath. Yep, stops the clock. Now Chaos gets to go through his full setup again. That's a, that's a bigger break than you think right there for Chaos. I mean, uh, you know, the five yards moves him closer. It's tighter windows, but you'd rather have the clock stopped right here. Second and goal. Back at the end zone. High pass. Great animation there to strip that one away. D Cross defense playing an underrated game right now, making some big plays down the field. That right there is Chaos's favorite red zone play. He likes to step up into the pocket and make a throw to that little S post route in the back of the end zone. He turns around and gets a nice animation without stepping out of bounds. Maybe two weeks ago, but not right now. The uh, that second player applies the catch and pe uh, traffic penalty incomplete. Thirds and goal. Dropping back to pass. Another three-man rush. Looking for that high pass right at the goal line. It's on the money, and step one is complete. Chaos gets the touchdown and cut it back to a four-point game. Better yet, didn't use a single timeout. Exactly what he needed from that drive. Very quick down the field. Seven plays, 70 yards. I'm only a minute eight off the clock. And he kept all three of those timeouts, which he's probably going to need to stop Leonard Fournette here. And that's, again, very, very tough right now with all these falling forward animations, especially from Fournette. And no easy task to stop a guy like Leonard Fournette. Already a bowling ball in the middle of the field. All three timeouts, but not a lot of room for error. It's going to come up to this defense from Chaos. So I think right here you're going to obviously see the inside zone. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to the air. He's going to go to that short side wheel route with the tight end corner over the top of it if he goes to the, the air. Great okay. run defense there. Joey Bosa. First time out there for Chaos. From the... Ohio State University. Oh, boy. I deal, I deal with bugs with the Lions now. You're starting to end with the Ohio State. Okay, I'll okay. Just, I just put the in front of everything. <laughs> the Illinois University. Yeah, yeah. Just, just the it up. Yeah, block eye. Uh, we don't have to talk about it. Underneath. Uh-oh, he has a man. It's open. Big play at the line. Did he get their timeout taken? It's going to be a first down, and got to think the GGs are going up as that was a huge call going to throw the ball there to pick up the first down. I like the decision to go to the drag right there. Obviously, if it's not open, you probably just take the sack, keep the clock rolling. Uh, it's been a it's been a great game management from D. Croft this entire game. Really kept it underneath and uh, didn't make any mistakes down the field, which is what chaos did to basically lose this ball game. You know, the interception on that forced throw to the sideline really showing up right now. Uh, we talk about competitive Madden. Usually it's the first player to get two stops is going to win the ball game. This one, it was pretty much the, the, the one interception that did chaos in. 31-28, and D. Croft going to hand it to Fournette. 
Last time out off the board, GG's in the chat as Decroft is going to move on in what was really a, a phenomenal game here on Friday Night Football. Yeah, Decroft shows why he's one of the best up-and-coming young players in this community. He already has the best open field stick in the community. The scheme is going to come with it. And uh, once he has all things clicking, it's going to be very, very tough to stop this young man. We still got a couple other round two ma matchups. Uh, Decroft, of course, moving on to the second round. We're going to see Decroft versus J Wall. That's, that's a great game. That's going to be a great game between two players that know each other and lab with each other. That's going to be one of the best chess matches I think we'll see all night. Now, 